Welcome everyone, I wanted to show you how to quick resume on Xbox Series X. So the first step is you want to open up the game you want to quick resume with, and you want to press the Xbox icon. If you see right here at the right hand side, quick resume, that means this game supports quick resume. If you do not see the quick resume icon, let's you just first open up the game, just wait 30 seconds. If this icon does not show up, you cannot quick resume with said game. Now once you've done this, what you want to do is you just want to open up the second game of your choice without closing out the first game. So if I just close out Modern Warfare, uh, what's going to happen is, well, I'm not going to be able to quick resume to it. So let's say I'm going to open up here, Call Duty, uh, Call Duty um, no, let's do a different one. Let's go My Game and Apps, uh, Seal, and I'm going to open up, let's say, an Xbox 360 game. So you can see right here, Call Duty World of War, I'm going to open up this one, and we'll just give it a little bit. Uh, I'm, I have a, a HDR TV, so the reason why it shows a black screen is because I have to switch between SDR and HDR. And so once I'm here, I'm going to press the Xbox icon again. You can see this game also supports quick resume, but in order to quick resume between the games, you want to go uh, to the Xbox menu, My Games and Apps, and you see this quick resume uh, area right here, and you see the games inside of quick resume. So Black Ops 3 was in there earlier. Uh, keep in mind that there is a limit to the amount of apps you can have. Really, it just depends on how much memory uh, each game will take up. So you'll be able to have a lot more 360 games than you know, Xbox One games. And uh, you'll have you know be able to store less Xbox Series X games, etc. So let's say I want to quick resume to um, I call just Modern Warfare. You just want to select this right here, like so. And just give it a little bit. And it's going to quick resume back to where you left off. So where I left off was on the lobby screen. Now keep in mind, when it comes to server games, you can see it's logging me in right away. Uh, when it comes to uh, server games, if you are, uh, you know, logged into a server, you will almost certainly be kicked out. So let's say, uh, you know, I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm in, you know, a Warzone game. And I move over to Call of Duty World at War. When you go back, quick resume will do its thing. However, you'll be disconnected from the Call of Duty servers. Therefore, quick resume is best done with offline games or if you're in offline mode. So, let's say uh, Call of Duty World of War. Uh, if you play the game offline, you'll be able to use quick resume, no issues at all. However, if you're playing online, you'll almost certainly be disconnected from where you are. Therefore, quick resume isn't very useful. Let's say you don't want to use quick resume. Just go to My Games and Apps and you see the quick resume area right here. If you want to disable a uh, quick resume, just find a game uh, that is, you know, is inside a quick resume. Press the start. So we'll press the start here. And you see right here, remove from quick resume. Press remove from, uh, from quick resume. And that will remove this game entirely. So that's how you uh, disable quick resume for you know, a game if you would like. However, uh, if you're playing offline games, quick resume is incredible. Works flawlessly. Some games, again, will not support it, even if they are offline. However, if that's the case, just remove them off of Quick Resume, and then you'll be good to go. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.